in our dry season, but this is a whole different level of dry. So instead of just being a little dry like we normally are in February, this is traditionally our driest month of the year. We are ranking as one of the driest Februarys ever recorded in history here in Southwest Florida, going back to the 1890s. Live look at what was a very quiet day, a beautiful end though to the day from the Luminary Hotel in downtown Fort Myers. A little bit of a chop out there on the Caloosahatchee with that wind out of the southwest around seven miles per hour. Otherwise, that southwesterly wind driving up those dew points, driving in those temperatures. So things definitely on the warm side for those of you heading out this evening. We'll drop into the mid 70s around eight o'clock into the lower 70s at 9, 10 as well as 11. It's going to be another mild start tomorrow as well. Temperatures tomorrow even hotter than today. So today in Fort Myers, we hit 83. Well, tomorrow we'll be in the mid 80s, then upper 80s Thursday into Friday. A little front's going to be coming through over the weekend, but without much fanfare and without much impact. Look at that. Sunday, we'll drop our temperatures to 83. A little bit more cloud cover in the mix. It'll basically be like today, but with a bit more cloud cover. And then by Monday, we're right back to 87. So in terms of significant cool down, that is not in the cards anytime soon, even as we head into the start of March. It means that our drought index, it's called our Keech Byram drought index, this will continue to worsen. Of course, the hotter the temperatures, the drier the ground becomes, especially without rainfall. And that's why we're starting to see these colors get more intense with every day that passes. So yesterday, for example, well, Friday over the weekend, Collier County was in orange. Well, now it's an orange red as it starts to trend into the extremely dry range. Hendry into Lee, very dry conditions, critically dry here, very dry for Glades, and now very dry conditions over spreading Charlotte, DeSoto into Sarasota counties. A look right now overnight tonight, areas of patchy haze and fog to be expected. That's how we'll start off tomorrow morning. Otherwise, though, lots of sunshine forecast for the afternoon. Winds out of the west and southwest, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Basically, similar story for your Wednesday. Again, it was areas of haze and fog to be expected the next several mornings. Otherwise, lots of sunshine on the way for the afternoon alongside those exceptionally warm temperatures. Overnight tonight, we'll drop down towards 67 degrees in Fort Myers. A bit cooler farther inland. Some upper 50s forecast from Immokalee to LaBelle. Switching back to Moorhaven and Clewiston. We'll start off the day around 62 or so in Arcadia. And then tomorrow afternoon, hotter than today by a couple of degrees. We'll head up toward 85. Winds out of the southwest, 10 to 15. And notice farther inland could hit that 90 degree mark in Immokalee alongside Moorhaven. So Fort Myers looking for a high of 85, 87 up in Arcadia, Punta Gorda also expecting those mid 80s. Seven day forecast continuing to show off these mid to even upper 80s over the next seven days. Mostly sunny and windy for your Friday ahead of that front. Then over the weekend, we'll just drop temperatures just a touch, 83 for Sunday.